Today we have some extra steel. So we're gonna do, do up this little pattern. We're gonna see how many of these little guys we can get out of this piece. We're gonna cut it out with the angle grinder and shape it up. So they look pretty good. Now we're gonna go grind our bevels in. Still need to clean up a little bit there on the handle, but we'll do that in a little bit. So we have our bevels ground. Um, this one's pretty close. I may have gone a little bit too far there, but we'll go over it again and. 120 grit sandpaper. This one we left a little bit more to work with. We also there's a little thick towards the tip right here. We need to take some of that off. But drilling the holes. I've also learned a little trick. You put tape on your hang in your wood and super glue them together then you don't have any residue and your holes line up perfectly it's worked out great before we harden it we're gonna put a pattern here on the tang you could use a file but I have a Dremel so I might as well use that so we cut out this pattern and then we'll harden it We heat it up, test it with the magnet, still need a little bit to go, so I have this little forge that I use to help the heat better and then we put it in the canola oil to harden it. Um, 1095 isn't too bad to harden and we test it with a file. We've done both of them and there they are, cooling down. Testing everything out, making sure it fits. Looks like it does. We'll do a little bit of hand sanding. Get everything to fit the way we need it to. And then we're gonna etch it in ferric chloride. This is something new that I've tried that I'm trying. So we'll clean it off with some acetone, make sure that there's nothing on the blade. I did want to try to get the logo on a different way so I tried it both ways I etched the logo on before and then I tried it this way where we put the sticker on and see if that portion uh, doesn't get etched and doesn't darken so we'll see how it turns out It looks like it didn't quite work. It's still there, but not as clean as we would have liked. Here's the other one. The edge kind of disappeared when we put it in the ferric chloride. But now we'll glue them all together. I add some black paint to it or red, I did a little bit of both. That way it will stand out and have color in that pattern that we have on the tank. And then we assemble. I like to use 24 hour epoxy. It just gives me plenty of time to put it all together and clamp it up. Then we'll clean it up and see how it turns out. One was made with maple wood and one was made with walnut. 